Today we're going to change the chain and bar on a still MS170 chainsaw. Make sure the chain is free before starting. Use a 90mm hex socket spanner to loosen the two nuts that hold on the sprocket cover on the side of the machine. Then use a screwdriver to loosen the chain tensioning screw between the guide bar and the machine. You will notice the chain will begin to slack. Continue to unscrew the two sprocket cover nuts on the side of the machine. This will allow you to remove the casing, completely freeing the chain and bar. Carefully pull away the chain from the bar until it's fully removed. Make sure the bar and chain are compatible with each other and the machine before fitting. When placing the chain onto the guide bar, make sure that the cutting edge, highlighted in red, is facing away from the body of the machine on the top edge of the guide bar. This means that the cutting edge should be facing in the direction of the blade's rotation. Feed the chain around the bar and check that it's seated correctly. Make sure the chain moves in a smooth motion and it doesn't snag. Place the chain around the chain sprocket. Make sure the two screws are seated in between the chain bar. Place the casing back on and hand screw on the two nuts. Use a screwdriver to tighten the chain tensioning screw between the guide bar and the machine. Once together, make sure the chain is moving smoothly and it isn't too tight and doesn't have excessive slack. That's how you change the chain and bar on the still MS170. All the parts and tools needed for this task are listed in the description below. Please like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful.